The 501 error is often given to users when the server hosting the website is completely offline and unavailable. The hosting service will return a 501 error because the server is legitimately unable to perform the requested function because the whole thing has crashed. On the user's end, you literally can't fix the problem. You can, however, check a few things before reporting it to someone in charge. Number one, reload the page. Try pressing Control or Command plus Shift plus R to reload. Doing so will perform a hard reload that bypasses any cached files a typical reload might still use. Number two, clear your browser cache. By dumping the cache in your browser, you do more than even bypassing it with a hard refresh. Everything starts from a clean slate this way. So if there are any files being held on your end that contribute to the server being unable to process your request, they're totally gone upon retry. Number three, check your VPN and or proxy. Check your VPN settings to make sure that everything is on the up and up. Go to other sites and make sure that you don't get the same errors. Swap server locations and check. Verify that the routed traffic is making it to the endpoint via traceroute. And if you're using a proxy server, stop. Disable it for a bit to see if the server is unable to perform the GET request because of those settings. And finally, number four, if nothing solves your issue, reach out to the owner of the website. They will then be able to either get into the server themselves or contact their host support who can. Now, if your site is the one experiencing the 501 error, you should check for malware. Run a virus scan to check and see if there are nefarious things going on behind the scenes. Make sure that if you're on WordPress, that you're using something like Updraft Plus and WordFence or Security. These security precautions are incredibly important. Sometimes a 501 is returned when a server has an unprecedented amount of traffic. If this is the reason, the only solution is discussing an upgrade with your hosting provider, even if it's only on a temporary basis for a single spike. If nothing we've mentioned so far has helped, then it's time to contact your web host. They are the experts and can dive deeper to get your site back up and running. If you enjoyed this video, then be sure to give it a like and subscribe for more content. With that said, thanks for watching and we'll catch you in the next one.